Welcome back to So Popular. I'm Janet Mock. This week, blogger B. Scott published text conversations that included nude photos of rapper Tyga, the 25-year-old boyfriend of 17-year-old reality star Kylie Jenner. The sexts were allegedly received by porn star and model Mia Isabella, who has reportedly been seeing Tyga for the past three years. Being caught with your pants down never fails to make gossip headlines. But this story garnered an added layer of tabloid scrutiny because Mia Isabella, the woman who allegedly got sexted by Tyga, is a trans woman. Through his lawyer, Tyga denies having engaged in an affair with Isabella or sending her the photos, which he does confirm are in fact authentic, telling TMZ that the allegations that Tyga sent the photos to Isabella are false and socially irresponsible during a time when many Americans are celebrating equality. Tyga's lawyer goes on to claim the rapper is the victim of a conspiracy designed to malicious, malicious, maliciously shame him. And shame is the piece that I want to unpack here. This story hit the internet with the intent to shame Tyga. There's the nude piece, the affair piece, and of course, the being caught with a trans woman piece. Tyga is the latest in a long line of famous men who have reportedly desired the bodies of trans women, bodies that our culture have deemed illegitimate, unnatural, and fake. And because we do not view trans women as real women, the heterosexual, cisgendered men who are entangled with and attracted to trans women are checked as not real men because they desire bodies that are deemed illegitimate. Eddie Murphy, Hank Basket, Casper Smart, and Mr. C are just a few of the public men who've been allegedly involved in secret interactions with trans women. And Tyga is not the first hip-hop celebrity to share headlines with a trans woman. Just two years ago, New York radio DJ Mr. C was secretly filmed on camera soliciting sex from a person he perceived to be a trans woman. It led him to briefly resign from his job at a New York radio station and tearfully open up on air about his sexual attraction to trans women. It was a pivotal moment for hip-hop, a culture where realness equates to hypermasculinity and heteronormativity. Yet it did little to unpack the harmful misconceptions that continue to plague men who desire trans women. A conversation that I do feel these men who desire the bodies of trans women need to be having amongst themselves and with their communities. I am not invested in defending and or making excuses for the millions of men who desire trans women bo women's bodies in secret, either on the web, via affairs and flings, or through sex work. I am invested in what this public shaming does to the women who are kept in the dark who are made to feel they are unworthy of love and acknowledgement, who are made to feel as if they are only deserving of ridicule, harassment, and violence. Gratefully, the woman at the center of this tabloid scandal, Mia Isabella, refuses to be reduced to a headline, saying in a statement, it's very sad that the idea of a man loving a person, um, a trans person, has to be considered a scandal when all people are equal. Love always wins, doesn't it? I live in a world in my mind where everything is a fairy tale of love. She continued, are we not all equal? Am I not an American with the right to love and live as I choose with whomever I choose? If a celebrated man loves a transgender woman or possibly did, that's news? It shouldn't be news. It should be normal for anyone and everyone to be allowed to love who they choose. People's bodies, their attractions, and their sexualities should not be policed or shamed. There are many kinds of women as there are many kinds of men who desire many kinds of women. And guess what? Trans women are among these women who are desired, and there is nothing shameful, laughable, or headline-worthy about that. That's all the time we have for So Popular this week. Let me know what you thought about this week's stories and the show by tweeting me at Janet Mock using the hashtag SoPopular. You can also watch So Popular on demand anytime you want at msnbc.com slash SoPopular. Thank you so much for watching.